Hi there, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are gonna head to Crate and Barrel. Crate and Barrel is killing it, I think. They have so many beautiful designs, very interesting and contemporary, and they have a good range of things that are like really modern and, and really interesting. And then they have all their basic lines that are a bit more transitional, some traditional, but a really good mix. And so before we get in the car and head over to my local Crate and Barrel, I wanted to kind of go through a few of the items that I'm actually interested in potentially purchasing and hoping to see them in the store. The, there's one piece that I really love that is not in my stores in Las Vegas, I already called. But there's a few pieces that I think might be in store, so we're gonna just have to go see and see what they carry. But I kind of wanted to talk you through some of the pieces that I'm loving and some that I'm actually considering purchasing and some that I don't have need for, but I think would look stunning in anyone's house. So, but I have my computer down here. That's why I'm looking down here. So let's just kind of go through. I'll put on the screen the pieces I'm talking about. So the whole reason I wanted to go to Crate and Barrel was to see this piece, which they do not have in store. And it is like, it took my breath away when I saw it online. And it's by the Leanne Ford collection with Crate and Barrel and her collection with them. I love like almost every single piece, but this one is the best. This is the Canyon Arched Canopy Bed with a upholstered headboard. And it is like a black metal with like, it almost looks like a Pioneer wagon. And I just love it. You know, I love white and black, so it checks off that. And I have a home that's very, straight lines, everything is very angular, and I love this soft arch that it adds. I think it would be so beautiful in our primary bedroom, and I just love it. I think the price is not too bad for a king-size bed. It's under $2,000. So this one I actually am potentially ordering, but I would have to order it sight unseen. So that's a little, I don't love that. I would love to go see it in person, but the reviews are all like, it's even more beautiful in person than it is online. So that one I love, love, love. Okay, the next piece by Leanne Ford that I'm loving is called the Annie Natural Storage Cabinet, again with the arches. And this one comes in a really light natural wood and then a charcoal black wood. And I don't know if I have a place in my house for this, but this one, again, really good price point, under $2,000 for a huge, huge cabinet. So I love this. I love that. I, I love cabinets that have glass so you can see all your pretty things and photos and different things that you've collected. But I also kind of like that these are closed so you can hide away things that you don't want people to see. So just a stunning, stunning piece. And in some of the photos, they have it like bookended between something. I just love them. Love, love, love. And you'll see a lot of the things I love are from this Leanne Ford collection. I think she did an amazing job. Okay, we're going to do a little rapid fire here. The rest of these are chairs. So half are dining chairs and half are accent chairs. And those are something that I'm in the market for. We just bought a dining table from Restoration Hardware. And we're still in the market for which chairs we're going to buy. So that's why I wanted to go look at what Crate and Barrel had. But back to the accent chairs. Almost all of the ones I have here are boucle. You know I love boucle. And I just, they have amazing ones. So we're going to do rapid fire. I love their caldera chair. I love the round edges of this chair. I love its simplicity. I love the boucle fabric. Then there's the sereno accent chair. This one is much more angular, but still with that softness. Love that one. I don't think I would love that there weren't arm rests on it. I think that'd be annoying to sit in, but I like it. Then there's the Hugger Curved Swivel Accent Chair. This one just looks so cool. I love that it swivels. I'm wanting two swivel chairs for my living room. I think those would look so stunning. I just am a little scared of white because I have four kids that, you know, touch things. And then they have the Hugger Boucle Sofa that kind of goes with it. I'm not sure I would do both of them, but I love both of them. So love, love, love. 
And then the last boucle one, I told you they're killing it with the boucle. If you're a boucle lover, definitely check out Crate and Barrel. This next one is called the Dawes Swivel Chair in a boucle fabric. This one is a much more simple design, whereas I think the Leanne Ford one was much more, or like the Serena was a little more of a directional idea. A little more fashion forward are the other ones, but the Dawes is a bit more minimal in design, but still beautiful. So love all those boucle. It gets a stamp of approval from me. Okay, moving on. If you like Kane, I know Kane's been a trend for the last several years. The Leanne Ford has a black cane with a cushion. I love that chair, really pretty. And then there's also one that is a curved one. So I just, for me, it's the cane, the boucle, the curves, and the black and white. I just can't stop with it. And they, and Crate and Barrel is, I just, those are like my favorite things at the moment. And Crate and Barrel is just hitting it out of the park with all of them. So love, love, love. There are many more accent chairs that were stunning and beautiful, but these were the ones that I'm really loving. They're the ones that, they're the trends that I'm loving and that popped out to me. And now moving on to dining chairs, which I need dining chairs. And uh, it's tricky. So my husband and I don't always see eye to eye on design. So that's always an issue. And he wants high back because my husband's tall. He's like six foot two. So he wants a tall back chair. And I care a lot about the design and wanting it to be comfortable because we love to have dinner with family and friends and want to be comfortable. So I want high design. He wants high back. We also want comfortability. And we also have kids that ruin things. The chair does not exist that we need, but we'll have to make some compromise in one of those things. But Crate and Barrel definitely has high design, so let's talk about it. So we have the Sutter White, again, boucle chair. This has like skinny metal legs with the curve round. I just, I just love the design of this. I fear those skinny legs might scratch the floor, so maybe watch out for that, but you, you're not lacking in design. Then there's the Maz Boucle. I can't, I know, I know. It's too much Boucle, but these are just so cool. So this is very similar to the Sutter, but it has a little more oomph to it. It has a little more cushion in the arched back. The legs are a little thicker, but it's basically the same design. You kind of get the same look. And here's one that actually is more what I'm thinking might work for us. And this is the Camille. And it comes in a bunch of different velvet colors. So I feel like it has enough design that it's interesting with the roundness and it comes in a velvet fabric. I feel like that would be wipe downable for my kids, but I just think that's a really handsome looking chair. And then the last dining chair I kind of like potentially for like captain's chairs would be the Addison chair and it comes in a bunch of different fabrics. I hope they're performance fabric. And they have a side chair and an armchair. So I think that is a standard classic chair that works in traditional design as well as contemporary. And they have a high back, so that would work for us. So with that, let's get in the car and head over to Crate and Barrel, see what they have, see if there's anything else that sort of catches my eye that looks pretty interesting and I'll be happy to see what you think. Do you like any of these designs? Do you think that there's too much boucle? There's too much roundness? Do you prefer a little more streamlined traditional chair? So I'd love to hear what you think and let's head over to Crate and Barrel.
several hours later, we finished up a crate and barrel and then my daughter and I actually met my husband for lunch. His law office is right over by where crate and barrel is. So it was a nice little outing and afternoon and I'm back at my house and I just wanna kinda of go over my final thoughts for the day on what I saw and when I'm thinking about the things that I saw in person. So I would say about half of the pieces I talked about were not in store. The ones I was most excited for were in store, but I did get to see some of the pieces that I was thinking about. Oh, but first, I did buy something that I had no intention of buying, I just saw it. So it's huge and it's heavy. It is a, it's a cutting board, but they actually say don't cut on it because it will ruin the black paint. Look at how big it is. It takes up the whole screen. So I love the grain that you can see in it. Let me see if I can get closer. I love how you can see the natural grain of the wood, but that it's painted black. So I like that it adds a warmth and a texture, but it's still my black and white. And I actually have bookshelves from Restoration Hardware that are coming sometime in March or April, and they are like this. They have like the oak, I don't think this is oak, but similar that you can see the grain of the wood, but painted black. So I love that, that and my shelves will be in sight of my kitchen. They're in the same part of my house. So I love that this will kind of tie into those in the kitchen. And I just, I love oversized things. So this is right up my alley and really decently priced. This was $59 plus tax. It came out to $64 for like a statement piece. Like this is all your kitchen would need and like a nice bowl and you're done. So love that. Okay, next thought, the canopy bed, as I knew it wasn't gonna be there, you still kind of hope in the back of your mind that it will be in store and it wasn't. So bed's not there, I'm still debating ordering it. In one of my last videos, I talked about how this year, I really want to update my bedroom furniture. The furniture that we have has been so useful and great quality and we bought it used when my, when my husband was in law school and we had no money and I'm just, it's not my style at all. It's gotten the job done, but I want something that I love and that canopy bed, I just, it makes my heart sing and I may have to order it without ever seeing it in person. Second thing, they also didn't have the Leanne Ford arched cabinet. They had ones that were similar that were glass cabinets. They looked a little more traditional and a little less contemporary than the Leanne Ford ones. But if you're wanting beautiful black arched cabinets, Crate and Barrel has the Leanne Ford ones and they also have the glass paned ones that you might be able to go see in your local store. So I just wasn't able to see the Leanne Ford ones. There were other pieces of Leanne Ford. They had some of her chairs in stock and they had a sideboard there in store and they had a table of hers. So they had some of the pieces. I don't know how they determine which stores get which pieces. I'm not sure what goes into that. So you may have to call your local store if you wanna see these pieces in person. They had the cane chair from Leanne Ford, which was beautiful in person. I did quite like that. All the other chairs that had like the rounded backs that were boucle, the ones that were the dining chairs, they did not have in person. They only had the sitting chairs and they had tons of the boucle actually in person. So if you're needing a boucle furniture fix, definitely check out your local Crate and Barrel or online. They had tons of that and they had tons of it in store, which I actually was surprised by. But they didn't have the boucle dining chairs, which I really wanted to see. They didn't have those. They did have the Camille dining chair, which is one that I was curious about for our dining table. And it's a no-go. It is an attractive chair, it looks nice. It didn't feel very like substantial or sturdy. And knowing how much we will use and abuse these chairs, they, it, it just, they're not gonna work. My kids are rough and tumble and they're, they just wouldn't work. If you have like a dining table set that you just want to like look pretty and attractive, but you don't really think you'll use it all that much, I think the Camille chairs and those velvets are beautiful. It's just for an everyday dining chair that gets used and used by kids. It's, it's not good enough. And I know my husband was, even when I sat in them, I didn't feel like I was all that secure in them. And my husband's a lot taller and bigger than me. So they just were a no-go for us, but a nice chair. 
So my last final thought was, I liked the artwork I saw there. They had quite a bit of the abstract contemporary artwork in pretty decent sized pieces. And I've kind of teased that I have a video coming out. I'm still working on it. It's a lot of editing, but of making your own artwork. And I think some of these pieces, while I think they're attractive, I think you could easily replicate them for much cheaper. Although if you aren't feeling very DIY, their pieces are much more reasonably priced than like Restoration Hardware, whose artwork I really love. So if you're not wanting to make your own artwork but don't want to spend Restoration Hardware prices, I would definitely say Crate & Barrel is a good option for that. One thing I did notice about their artwork is they had a print by an artist I recognized. I don't know how to say the name. I think it's Cater Boley. And I might be butchering that. I believe he's an African artist. And he does a lot of like herd pictures. And he does people like, but kind of in an abstract way. And they had one of his, it's a print. So it's not an original. And the print is a pretty decent sized and it was around 900 to a thousand dollars. And I looked him up on where else his prints are sold. So if you're wanting to get this artist's work but in a print form and save some money, it's a good way. They're not cheap. They're still 800 to 1200 dollars, but they're like a big art piece. But his original artwork starts at like five to six thousand dollars and goes upward. So if you're not wanting to invest in original art, you can get, that's a print version of his artwork. So I thought that was interesting. I like that they had an artist's work there. I, I like their collaborations that they do. So overall, I think definitely check out your Crate & Barrel this season. I thought their prices were not totally outrageous. Some of the pieces are maybe a pass, but definitely don't sleep on the Leanne Ford collections. I know she's been there for a few years and I think her pieces are doing quite well. So I hope that her designs are there to stay. I am curious to see what else comes out in the future with her and her collections. But stay tuned if I pull the trigger on that canopy bed. I just think it's so beautiful. That's the one thing I'm the most excited for. And I, I like that cutting board too, but that's a bit cheaper. But anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you go check out your local crate and barrel if you're curious about any of the things I showed here. And I'll catch you in my next video. Bye-bye.